Welcome back everyone, CUBE's live coverage here in San Francisco, California for Google Next 23. I'm John Furrier here with Dustin Kirkland, our CUBE analyst, our next guest, CUBE alumni Gabe Monroy, VP of Developer Experience at Google Cloud. Great to see you, thanks for coming back on theCUBE. Great it's, to see you. It's great to be here. <laughs> Normally we're at KubeCon, getting in the weeds on Kubernetes, but a lot's gone on since we've last chatted with you and Google Cloud, specifically this event here really showcasing not just so much the cool demos and features and news, but really the roadmap to the future. And I think the AI generations here, we're seeing that in the frothy and intoxicated open source developer market. There's 90 something startups this in San Francisco booming. There's more meetups than I've seen since really the web 2.0 days. A lot of creative energy going into the developer market right now on AI. Yeah. All under the age of pretty much 30. Yeah. Except for us old guys who are like, you know, <laughs> feeling like the fountain of youth, you know, <laughs> 25 again. So this is really the developer uh, market. It's certainly the boardroom to the dorm room, we say in the queue, but boardroom is, we need AI infused in everything, go make it happen, okay? Roadblocks, compliance, all in legal. We're hearing stories, about, but the real action is the bottoms up too. Top down, give the directive, put AI in everything. Bottoms up is just organic developer action. You're in the middle of it, do it has been impressive here. What's your, what's your current view right now of, of the market? And then, and then talk about the news with Duet. Sure, well, I, I think as you're pointing out, those of us who've been around the industry for a little while, we've seen these big trends come and go, right? And if you've been in this market for a minute, you can tell this is something real. Like this innovation is real, the customer benefits are real. When you look at the keynote uh, demos that we showed on stage and, and the already the customer uh, proof points that we have, this is really going to impact uh, not just customers, but I'd argue the economy overall, right? It's going to be very impacted by this. And so it's a very exciting time. I, I have to say, you know, uh, from the inside of Google, we feel very confident about our ability to leverage this, this technology and you know, deliver a pace of value for customers that is going to be a little different than we've seen in the past. The speed is going to pick up, the intensity is going to pick up quite a bit. Uh, in terms of the news itself, you know, we did announce an expanded preview for Duet AI and Google Cloud, which is super exciting. A lot of new capabilities, uh, a lot of which uh, uh, were shown on the keynote stage today. Uh, but these are really things around uh, you know, uh, standard uh, developer-oriented experiences around code generation and code explanation. Mm -hmm. But new things like source citation, right? If you're getting a response from an LLM in your IDE, if you're quoting at length from a particular source, you want to know that that came from Stack Overflow, or that is licensed under a particular open source license, permissive or not, right? You want to know that stuff. Lots of cool features like that that we're del uh, delivering now. The thing I want to ask is real quick, then the news, so availability on workspaces, and just give quick highlights on the, on the sure. specifics. Yeah, so, so uh, uh, Duet AI is uh, you know, the, the Google Cloud brand for AI assistance, right? Mm -hmm. And Duet is showing up in uh, Workspace, right? Which is really around productivity. That is now generally available. And you know, uh, uh, the pricing's available, et cetera. For Google Cloud, we're announcing an expanded preview of this. So we've had a lot of folks who've been kicking the tires. Uh, you'll, be, uh, uh, you'll hear about Wayfair in my uh, App Dev Spotlight session. Uh, you know, lots of customers who have a lot of great examples of how they're using this today. Uh, so that's been kind of the last few months since I.O. But now we're going to open up the doors much more widely with a lot of new capabilities as well. Uh, that's where we're at on the cloud side. Got it, okay, so, so we've been speculating, Dustin and I have been talking off camera and also on the preview on the keynote analysis that obviously Google is well positioned for machine learning. We've been, we've, been, we've been covering Google and I know everyone there pretty much since the early days. There's a ton of machine learning in AI in a lot of other parts of Google. Yes. Google, now cloudifying that, this seems to be the moment here with the AI positioning. It, as developers adopt AI, which is clearly on the LLM side foundation model, seeing that, new ways to do, say, embeddings, for instance, with vector database, which opens up the door to things like what you announced with extensions, right? Yes. Which, uh, if, if folks aren't familiar with, it's pretty cool. Uh, and also you got connectors, all kinds of ways to connect data. Um, the developer experience is going to move fast and be different. How do you, would you characterize the, the developer change or new things that they'll see from Google Cloud in the development world that's different now and where it might be something that surprises them or a benefit to them. In other words, what's, what's different? What's going to be different in the, from their world? 
You know, there's a, a lot of things, I would say. Um, just one example that you saw in the keynote demo was going from an incident that is uh, you know, being reported on a service issue all the way through resolving that. That usually you know, crosses lots of different products uh, historically. It's not always a friction-free process. And what you can see with Duet and with Generative AI, we're making that end-to-end -end journey seamless. And that's something a lot of people are doing day in, day out, particularly developers have to operate the software that they're running yeah. in the cloud. Uh, but when you think about the IDE experiences, the way that folks are going to author uh, your code, author, uh, for example, unit tests, right? Unit test authoring is something that LLMs are actually extremely good at. And that's a lot of toil and a lot of burden that folks you know, don't want to have to engage in and they'd rather spend time writing business logic. Uh, and you know, actually, Dustin and I were talking about this uh, before the show, and you know, I think one of the things we're likely to see here is the pace of innovation for developers using uh, technology like Duet is going to increase so much the cost of building a new prototype or testing a new idea is going to really shrink down. And I'm really excited to see what that's going to do for the overall rate of innovation in this market. I mean, you're talking about developers and that developer experience is you know, pretty incredible, but I think you're actually democratizing this to some extent to you know, non-full-time developers to be able to take a concept and bring that to market. How, how does Duet uh, fit into that world. It's, it's a really great point, and you know, one of the things that's especially exciting, and, and you know, frankly still early, is this idea of, hey, can folks who are not an expert in one domain, you know, be good enough in <laughs> yeah. that domain, right? And, and so, uh, you know, I'll give you an example. Uh, in our App Dev Spotlight session, uh, we have a video that we cut of you know, folks who are using Duet AI in, in the Trusted Tester program, and the last stands of the video is an operator, right? Yeah. It's like a system administrator type, and they say, you know, I'm not a developer by trade, but with Duet AI, I was able to dabble enough in the code, able to debug an issue, right. that it made me feel almost like I was a trained software <laughs> engineer, right? And so there's these questions of, you know, what is that bleed through going to look like, and how much more productive can we make folks, not just in their discipline, sure. but how much can we democratize the adjacent disciplines, right? right? Cybersecurity is another great example, right? We want right. security to be yeah. core to every app. We believe that fundamentally in Google Cloud, that security is core to our design principles. I want developers to be able to understand understand how they can use security tools uh, in a way that isn't going to be uh, disruptive to their workflow. Yeah. On the app modernization wave, obviously that's been discussed, I would say pre-AI, um, with cloud. Um, as next-gen cloud becomes AI cloud, what does the app modernization mean to you guys? I mean, how do you frame that now? Obviously the demo you referred to was, was pretty compelling. You showed some automation in there. We were talking about it before we came on. Um, that crosses that's hard to do because you got compliance and legal issues and you're letting people work together with data across applications and platforms. What's modernization? What, it, what is the modern app from an AI perspective? How would you classify you, that? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a great question and, and one of the things that we're seeing now with our, our customer engagements is every app is going to become a generative AI app yep. in some way, or it's yep. going to have generative AI and some AI capabilities as part of the broader stack. And that's creating this incentive in, in enterprises to take a fresh look at applications that might not have <laughs> been on the table for getting modernized, right? Now every app is on the table for, for getting modernized. And, and one of the cool things is Google Cloud is now a part of these conversations in a very real way because these companies, they want to make sure that they're partnering with someone who's going to have their back over right. the next three, four, five years as as the rest of this journey plays out, I think it puts uh, Google Cloud in a very good position. But more generally, you're, you're seeing in the keynote demos, a lot of tooling specifically applied towards making app modernization easier, right? We saw in the demo migrating a, a date timestamp from Oracle format into a format that supports uh, Alloy DB, right? right. That's a, a, a small thing in some, uh, on some level, but when you're doing that at scale as part of a broad you know, enterprise digital transformation program, those little capabilities add up to uh, meaningful uh, cost savings. Can you draw the, can you connect the dots and go all the way from that front end experience all the way back to the data, the BigQuery, the Looker, you know, everything that, that you know, Google Cloud and, and data is built upon? Yeah, I mean, look, the way I look at this is the, the data and, you know, and things like BigQuery, transactional databases, operational databases, these are synonymous with the business criticality of workloads, yeah. right? And so yeah. for us, we want to make sure that we're not just getting like the compute parts of, of, of workloads, right? Because that's interesting to customers, but sure. the data is where the real value is. It's really synonymous with value. So we want to make sure that we're actually stitching together product experiences that span from that inner loop of coding, right? How I build an application, how I debug, 
code, how I operate that application, but also how I store data. What's my schema layout? How do I think about indexing and query optimization? And there's a, there's a set of seamless experiences that we can deliver and around Duet optimizing. Duet can help that. optimize that. Uh, absolutely, wow. these are capabilities we already have in the Duet preview today. Yeah. Uh, it's not just around query building, we can also do things like optimization uh, mm -hmm. of queries as well. Where's the innovation going to come from, uh, in your mind, from the developer community? Is there white space out there for entrepreneurs to come in and participate? Uh, how, how would you share, because everyone wants to know, I said Google's making some big power moves here. Um, you got the data, you got the, the developer. Where's the white space for opportunities in the ecosystem? Th that, that's such a fantastic question, and, and, and honestly, this is a really, uh, I'm an old startup uh, uh, guy <laughs> yeah, here. So sorry. You know, this, is my, this is my background a little bit. But you know, what, I, what I'll say is, it's a, such an exciting time, right? Because the answer is, we don't really know everything that's going to happen in this market space, right? Vector databases and, and embeddings, they've kind of popped on the scene relatively new. I mean, generative AI itself, in terms of its, the level of popularity, also relatively new. Who knows what the next six to, to 12 months are going to hold, and I think that creates a lot of opportunity for startups. Yep. The thing that's most exciting to me is, as you saw on the keynote stage, 70% you know, of these uh, generative AI unicorns are building on Google Cloud, because they look at uh, what we're doing in terms of the hardware, in terms of you know, services like Vertex, and they want to be betting on a partner who's going to accelerate their ability to innovate and, and create value in this market space. Gabe, okay, how are you guys looking at the developer market from a, a data perspective? If and we've been saying on theCUBE uh, prior to Google Next all year, for, since KubeCon, literally last year, we introduced the idea of data developer. Yeah. Um, DevOps changed the game. What's kind of going on with AI is very DevOpsy. It's like you know, agile, uh, fast, highly accelerated. So if data is going to be now programmable, because what you're basically talking about is programmable data. Yeah. Okay, that's a DevOps concept. So data as code kind of seems like infrastructure as code. So okay, go to the next level if you believe that's happening. Does the developer shift left? Is there a shift up or down? Like, like if the developer had to shift left for security, <laughs> we're seeing a lot of parallels between the security market and data, more guardrails. We hear words like guardrails, automation, policy, compliance, legal. Security kind of brought that to the Now data is now programmable. I got a code with data in mind, which is, was not the mindset of a developer when you're dealing with siloed data warehouses. You, you know, it's a it's a fascinating point, and I talk about this a lot in my uh, AppDev Spotlight session tomorrow. But this, this idea of shifting left, you know, it, you know, it manifests as developers getting a lot of added responsibilities, right? We want to model a bunch yeah. of things in source code, CI, CD, security, governance. It's like all shifting left. And, and look, it makes sense, right? You want a lot of this stuff in source control. You want it version, but it's also adding a lot of cognitive load to yeah. developers. And I think your point is, this is creating the same risk in terms of the data science uh, and data analyst uh, yeah. space. What we want to do at Google Cloud is, we want to shift down. We want to shift these capabilities down into the platform let the platform do the work for our customers so they don't have to take on this extra cognitive load. That's certainly true in the developer space and I'd argue it's true in the data space as well. So a line of code could activate a duet call or some AI feature or even a co-programmer. Co, co I, I, I mean, the, basically, that's what we're getting to, right? I, I think so. The, 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 some of the futuristic stuff in this space that, you know, that we're, we're working on, uh, you know, in, in the, more in the research realm, is just incredibly exciting. You know, some mind-blowing innovation that's uh, you know, going to be coming yeah. to the fore here. Can, can you measure it yet? Can you measure, like, what does Duet do to an average, you know, level five, level six engineer, level well, three, we, level four? We, we actually engineer. can, and, and honestly, I'm less interested in what Google's measuring, although we do measure internally, because we sure. have a lot of these tools this is classic yeah. you know, Google you know, innovating uh, food, in part yeah. on the basis of what we do inside of Google. Uh, but we also have customers who are, uh, you know, you're, you'll hear from Mark Quigley, uh, Director of Engineering Enablement at Wayfair, who yep. we've been working very closely with as part of the Duet AI program. They've been measuring the productivity enhancements that they're seeing from Duet AI. Some really fascinating numbers yep. on this. And I, I got to say, the early indications are the productivity gains yep. are real. They're yep. real, they're durable, they're sustainable, and we've only just gotten started. So yep. imagine where yep. we're going to be in six to nine months. Yeah. Uh, everyone we talk to is unequivocally d admitting and driving the point home that the productivity is smashingly great. I yeah. mean, the, the code, code training code, going through code, but, the, but it's a, there's different approaches. One person said to us last week, train your good code, not your bad code. So <laughs> you got to have the right data set you're working with. How, how, is that, how, how important will that be 
because that's going to require some cognitive thinking on the developer. Am I accessing the right data set or the policy IT department, whatever the data IT department looks like, yeah. then <laughs> that's another question. What does a data IT department look like? But assume there is one. Here's a set of stuff you could use. This model, that model. It's going to be choices and you got to have good data. It, 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 data is now at the center. I mean, I'd argue it sort of always was, always been, but yeah. now it's obviously at the center of a lot of this new innovation that's coming out. Um, there's going to have to be a lot of evolution in terms of how uh, folks are uh, giving policy and governance yeah. around that data, but you know, one of the biggest indicators that we found of the quality and the accuracy of what's coming out of these LLMs is in that quality of data, and that's sure. why we announced with Duet AI, the fact that we fine-tuned Duet on GCP-specific documentation, yeah best practices, API reference architectures. It makes for you know, uh, more accurate uh, results. So if you want to uh, access a storage bucket uh, in Python, let's say, yeah. inside your IDE, we are going to print out the right code for that because we fine tune the model to it's do It's like that. the data is no longer passive. The data is now actively part of you know, the solution, that's. And, and one of the other elements of this is, you know, te techniques like uh, retrieval augmented generation where you can actually reach out into a vector database, find some embeddings and customize these LLM responses. That's going to become an important part, <laughs> we're already seeing it become an important part of how customers are going to have to, you know, tweak some of these LLMs to mm. their enterprise specific use cases. Gabe, it's great to have you on theCUBE because you're like an analyst, right? We're like an analyst session here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tim Hawkins over there He's waving to us. Hey, Tim. Um, you guys are both analysts in my mind. You're doing a great job here sharing the data. Really appreciate that. I got to ask you the final question for both of you guys. I'm curious, how does Duet and the Duet AI aspect revolutionize Google Cloud uh, for, for your customers? Where do you see it having the most impact uh, obviously the code generation thing is great. Uh, I see some, some obvious things, but if someone says, okay, this is a game changer, what, is gonna, what about it will revolutionize, not incrementally improve, revolutionize Google Cloud? Did you, yeah, yeah. you want me to take a crack? Yeah. Well, take a stab at that first. You said something earlier I, I wanted to come back to, which is training models on good code. You want to train models on good code. Actually, with annotations, you can train models on bad code too, just noted as like, <laughs> this is what problematic code, this is what insecure code, this is what leaky, inefficient code looks like, this is what good yeah. code looks like, and you know, the marriage of those two things is how you double down on the you know, positive patterns and avoid the anti-patterns. Um, I'm, for, for my money, I'm loving what Google is doing around uh, AI and generative AI around you know, code yeah. uh, and design. And then as a product manager, the idea of being able to take an inkling of an idea and yield a like, workable demo before I even write the memo, I, I love that. Uh, you, you know, for me, I, yeah, I think you know, to answer the question around you know, what is going to get radically changed here, if you look at the cloud market as, as it exists today, it's not just Google, right? All the different cloud providers. You got 300 different services typically that uh, you know, developers and, and engineers have to wade through to get something done. Developer comes to mind with a very specific orientation. I want to build a new app. I want to app modernize an app. I want to migrate. I want to troubleshoot an issue on my app. Yep. And today, the set of gestures that you have to go through to do that, it's very ad hoc, right? And it's not necessarily consistent. With generative AI experiences like what we're doing with Duet AI, we have the opportunity to completely re imagine these experiences from first principles, mm -hmm. oriented around what is the job to be done that our customer is doing, and what's the most friction-free experience that we can deliver to get that job done. Uh, my my uh, 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 belief here is Google Cloud is going to accelerate out through our ability to make just the overall experience of using cloud an order of magnitude better yeah. using generative AI. We've been saying on the opening, we'll wrap with, you guys nail the developer experience, build the solutions for customers, not compete on services, and nail the ecosystem that's showing robust action. That's a trifecta. Yeah. That's that. You hit that, then the game changes, <laughs> and uh, the world's looking different for Google Cloud. Gabe, okay, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Gabe Monroe, VP of Developer Experience, changing the game. AI cloud is what's happening. AI generated applications it will change the world, and it's in a different demographic, different cultural shift. So innovations here. We'll be right back with more Cube. Getting the data. We're like AI bots now. <laughs> Dustin. They're going to okay, replace us? We'll be right back after this <laughs> short break.